at people then. Woof, I'm too, way too bright. Hold on, let me, let me put that down. Done already done though. Tech Jamo. We're going to Kia in Maidstone, checking out the Kia. Damn, I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna put the name of the car right here. Let's go. Yes, yes, people. So yeah, Kia Maidstone, Kia electric experience that's what i was told on the email anyway apparently they were going to have the ev6 the new kia nero and some kia sportage thing i'm not interested in any of them i'm interested in the nero not because i've always wanted the nero but i see a nero everywhere and it got to the point where i had to actually just look and realize that it's actually kia's most popular ev and furthermore to that it's the second most purchased EV in the UK fam, underneath Tesla. So if there's gonna be a sequel to the second most popular EV in the whole country, yo, I, I wanna know about it. I wanna know what upgrades they've made. I wanna know what advancements they've made. Um, yeah, let's go, let's have a look. Now starting off with the exterior, I'm not gonna lie, this new Kia EV Nero is looking saucy. It's actually looking saucy. It's looking like it's got the EV6 treatment. And you'll find as I go further into the video that it seems like it literally got a couple few upgrades trickled down from the EV6 lineup. And yo, they've trickled down the good bits. Like look at that front bumper. I love the fact that the charging port is also on the front still. So when you're lining it up to get it charged, it's nice and easy. You don't have to back the car in or anything like that. Yo, the, the exterior is exterior-ing. Again, looking at it from this side, jeez, look at these rims fam. That's them electric rims. That's them rims from Tron. Now, I can't remember what the size of those were. I'm not out here for the specifics and that. I'm literally just out here to show you what's really good. I think they were 17 inch. 16 or 17, I think 16 actually. Um, and I think you can go up to 18, uh, but don't quote me on that. I'll just put the link to the actual specs in the description section below. One thing I wasn't too sure about with the exterior design was the C bar. Um, I, mm, it just looks kind of out of place, especially from what we had in the concepts where it was just a straight line down. It just kind of looks weird. It looks like somebody's crashed into the car and they've just put a spare panel on there, which was whatever color because they couldn't source the white one um, or they haven't had time to paint the panel white yet. But yeah, I don't know. I guess it's a hate it or love it thing, but I'm definitely not loving it at the moment. Now, still with the exterior, we moved on to what's under the hood and you get a little bit of front space in there. So you can fit two, two charging cables, two, two car stuff, which whatever you need, really, it's not really going to get the shopping in. And what would be really cool is if it had like a quick release on the key or something like that, instead of you having to open it from within the car. Um, maybe there was, I didn't see anything like that. But yeah, as far as I know, you have to open it from within the car. It would be cool if you could just pop it open, like say how you can just pop open the boot when you need to. And obviously you've got your access to battery and your other car windscreen wiper fluids and stuff like that. Moving around to the boot now, you've got bare space to fit all the shopping, all the luggage, all the suitcases, anything you need. However, one thing that I noticed is that the boot divider, that thing that sits on top of the boot, I'm not sure what that thing is called, that thing that kind of stops people peeping into what's in your boot, um, that, that thing is flimsy. That thing, I don't even know what material to describe it to be, but it doesn't look like you can put much weight on top of it because that is bare flimsy, fam. Now, moving into the interior, fam, you'll see why I said this is basically their EV6 downscaled, like EV6 on a slim thing, you understand? Like you got the two screens there that are similar to what you've also got in the Ionic 5. Um, you've got the little gear selector, which is on that swivel swivel. Even the pedals for the brake and accelerator, they all look the same fam. And I'm, I'm vibes, I'm vibes for it, I'm here for it still because it works in the EV6. And the fact that they've put it down to one of their cheaper lineups means that you don't necessarily have to go to the EV6 
to get that kind of comfort and the seats everything even though the headrests look bare mad behind my head they're actually kind of comfy i can't lie if i'm little sunroof automatic thing you understand man was living lavish <laughs> i was actually living lavish in there uh, now i did play a little bit with the heads up display but obviously the car wasn't driving so there wasn't too much i could do but i did like how fluid it was there was minimal lag when sweeping from left to right looking at all the apps i went into a little bit of settings i went into kia climate control um yeah there's a lot you can do on the screen however you can also do all of that stuff via the relevant button in the car all right now moving on to the back seats um this is the part of the car which i feel has seen the least improvements since the previous iteration you got two air vents in the middle you've got two usbs on the edges or the inside edges of the passenger seats in the front so at least two or three people in the back of the car can charge their devices and you got headrests for all three passengers the space in the back is okay for some of my size it's a bit peak unless the people that are also in the back of you are small or children <laughs> but for three people my size in the back yeah it's a peak situation still and guys i'm not gonna lie that's about it for now that's about all i can tell you like there's so many features that i obviously didn't get to try because it's just a showroom model like there's the chauffeur thing where the car can drive out of a parking space on its own like a remote control car um there's lots of driving assist that i obviously didn't get to sink my teeth into i've asked here to give me a shout when there are test drive units available so that man can tell you guys what is really going on with the car but in terms of looks feels and comfort i'm i'm liking it I'm liking it. I haven't got much bad to say about it at the moment, which is very unusual for me. I thought it was going to be a bit boring, but I feel like the upgrades that they've made are definitely in the right place, especially how I liked the EV6 in the first place. So yeah, fam, can't wait to see more of this car. All right, people them. So yeah, we saw, oh my God. What's it called? <laughs> What's it called, babes? Sportage? No, it's called the new, new Nero, 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 Nero EV, the newer EV. Yeah, I liked it. Hope that there's not a car coming. Wait. I don't think there's a car coming. No. I like the way that it, um, a lot of the stuff from the EV6 got transferred over to the Nero. Um, a lot of the st stuff that I liked really. But apart from that, yeah. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. We're getting in the Honda E.